say about yesterday basically everyone knows what happened horrible betting day for like 99 percent of the country uh if you got lucky with rich strike congratulations i know mr rose said his girlfriend won a couple bucks on it there was some other tickets i saw on twitter and instagram i think uh bleacher report betting they posted a ticket someone won like 200 grand off the exacta, man, the, the lighting's horrible, but just gotta deal with it. So yeah, I mean, uh, you can see the tickets that I had. Um, made a couple other tickets that I didn't post on here, like I guess in the morning time, right before the race, and just didn't work out. Cyberknife looked good. I was like, man, I'm gonna play them just in case. So I played the one, the three, and the. Uh, was he 16 played some boxes exacta boxes put 50 on him to win put 50 on pioneer medina to win um i was gonna put 100 on pioneer medina but i think i put 50 on calvary charge and i think it was like race 11 or 10 i don't even remember but um it was a shitty day honestly i'm sorry no there was cussing in the beginning of the video but Emotions were high. I was pissed. I'm pretty sure everybody else was. Um, I don't even know what to say, man. It's just like, it was, a, it was a good race. Rich Strike, congratulations to Connections. And I mean, it was a good day. It was a good day in the event that it was historic. Nobody got hurt. All the horses came out good, jockeys. I'm sure a lot of owners are hurting right now, hungover. Best performance of the weekend was me yesterday drinking all that beer and waking up hangover free today so that's the best performance right there for you but uh today's another day about to head back to the circuit if you haven't if you haven't stayed at the circuit or been there check it out that's gonna be my next go-to spot i'm not gonna stay nowhere else from now on and i used all my or use that club one card that you have to sign up for to make all my bets so i should have some pretty good points coming back towards me or at least to go towards rooms and stuff. But I always stay here at the Luxor on the Strip because it's cheap. I always get free stuff. I always get free upgrades. And that's pretty much it. But let's see if this thing works. Oh, it does work. Um, 
but yeah, I'm rambling on anyways, but kind of had a good idea. I knew the closer was going <clears> to <throat> win this year, but didn't think it was going to be Rich Strike. I thought I was going to be someone else, I guess. Not at 80 to one shot. It's nuts. It's still, it's hard to wrap your mind around, especially when you never play so much money on a race and then you go all in and you lose, but it sucks, but it's all right. You just got to handicap better and I guess start playing that angle of a horse scratches and enters a race, uh, bet them or at least play the all with the favorite, which is another thing that I didn't even think about. I was so confident on Mo Donegal. Uh, winning or Messier or Taba in that one bet that I played with Messier and Taba, but Small Happy was a no show. Charger didn't show up. Uh, whoever said Classic Causeway would finish behind Charger, it. it didn't happen. Sorry. And uh, let's see what else did I forget to cover. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know me and the weekend handicapper were texting all day yesterday. Man, it was. So close, both of us, but he's going to hit the Superfecta. We'll get it next year. Just stick with the channel. Don't hit the unsubscribe button because we'll be back with more. There's plenty of more horse racing to come. We got the Preakness Stakes in two weeks, and then we have the Belmont after that. And then we have the Travers in the summer. <clears throat> then we got the Breeders' Cup in Kingland. I'm going to try and make it to the Breeders' Cup, but we'll see. I already used on my vacation for this, so. I have to try and figure it out and switch some dates around with somebody. But that's going to be it. I don't want this to keep going on. But just keep your head up. I'm trying to. <laughs> and those of you watching, uh, just keep grinding it out. And uh, we'll be back with more picks and analysis for the Preakness and some other stuff coming up in between. So just stick with the channel. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.